how did you get into this then? Because it's, it's just fascinating, isn't it, how these things take off? Yeah, it's kind of like hard to put into, into a nutshell. To, so to cut it down, I guess, I used to upload kind of videos of me and my friends messing about. I used to upload sports videos that I'd put together. And from that, people would request, they'd be like, oh, we want to see the person behind this mm -hmm. channel, like show your face. And this was about six years ago. And I was like, why would I want to put like my face in front of a camera and make a video? Um, but nevertheless, I did it and tried it. And people were like, oh, this is amazing. Make your own channel doing that. So five and a half years ago, I created my channel and then slowly built it up to what it is today. I mean, it's amazing when you say I created my channel. I mean, how old were you sort of? Then I was, must have been about 17. But yeah. when I say creating your channel, that's almost just like, creating a Facebook page. Like anyone can have right. a YouTube channel, it's just, I decided to make videos. You are talking like videos. a 38 year old woman here, so <laughs> just, just bear with me. Um, but listen, so can you remember when you really felt that this was taking off and you could start to make m big money out of this? Because that's the interesting thing, I think the people who don't really know about YouTube, yeah. or at least the phenomenon that it's yeah, become yeah. For, for young people. Do there you? was no kind of like overnight, wow, this is incredible, this is my, now my job. It was almost like I got a feel for it and I was in a, I was in a full time job and I was like, mm, I'm really passionate about YouTube. Yeah. I can't earn enough money from doing it, but I'm going to quit my full-time job and just do YouTube because that's what I'm passionate what about. What did your parents say? Isn't it? Yeah, they were like, they were, at first they were like, um, don't know if that's <laughs> the best thing to do, but they knew how passionate I was about it, so they kind of supported me in that sense. And if it. you made enough money now to be able to shower them with gifts that you can say, look, it was <laughs> the right decision. I should probably be saying on here like, yeah, yeah, mum and dad, yeah, but no, um, you know, it's, it's my full-time job and I'm lucky that I can do something that I love, so. Yeah. And, and go on. No, I was just going to say, I mean, I, I would find it quite pressurised because now, of course, you've got so many followers, haven't yeah. you, who are hanging on your every word. Mm. Is it not difficult now when you post those new videos and you're mm. thinking, I've got all those million people who are pouring over mm. what I say? Do you, do you worry about it more, in a sense, because you know more eyes are on you? Yeah, I guess you kind of, there's, it's very easy to do that, you know, but at the end of the day, you've just got to continue doing what you do. And if you think about it too much, if you stop and think, wow, this, this could potentially be seen by 4 million people, then that's when you kind of will step away from your content and maybe not be making what it is that you want to make. Mm. So um, you kind of just got to go with it, as weird as that sounds. Yeah. And your book is really sweet in a way, because I was thinking, if I was a 15-year-old girl, I'd love that book, because it sort of does talk to you in a sort mm -hmm. of slightly older brother way. And so we've got some questions from viewers yep. um, who have said, so this one is Lulu. She says, my friend fancies my sister, <laughs> but my sister only sees him as a friend. Ooh. Should I say something to him or leave it? Oh. If this was, I've had experience in this myself where my friends have like fancied my sisters or whatever before. And I'd kind of say like, if, if you're cool with it, if, that, if Lulu is cool with her friend going out with her sister, by all means, like try and get involved and try and work that to make it happen if that's what she wants. But some people are like, oh, I don't really want my friends yeah. mixing with my brothers and sisters. Yeah, and I mean, we were sort of saying the interesting thing about your book is that it, you know, we could do with one at our stage of life. It's that kind of thing where it mm. just sort of solves every answer, doesn't it? And listen, I've got a question here from Lara who would like to know, she loves making YouTube videos herself and mm. she would like a little bit of advice if you've got mm. advice for anyone out there who wants to go down a similar path. Yeah. You know, how easy is it? Uh, so first of all, a lot of people kind of make the assumption that it's so easy to do. And it is easy to do in the sense that literally anyone, you could go home tonight, pick up a camera and make a YouTube video. Not what's sure hard, what you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know, but what's hard is getting it out there and, you know, building an audience. But if you're having fun with it, you don't think about, you know, who's watching it too much. Just put stuff that mm. you're happy making out there. Have fun with it. And that it's true it. to you, I guess. Yeah, like be yourself. Do, it? Connect with people. Use your personality. Are you a bit worried that, that, like, loads and loads of young people, you know, hear stories like yours and think, actually, I don't want what I would call a real job. Yeah. I just want to, do want to do that. And actually, you're the exception to the rule, aren't mm. you? I mean, not everybody makes money out of doing this. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could you could say that about kind of any any job that's looked at as like, oh, a footballer or something like that, where mm. people, you know, it's great that young kids are looking up to that and thinking, wow, that's really cool and I aspire to do that. And by all means, I'm going to tell as many people as I can to be like, look, try it. Like, I'm not saying don't go to university and just think about making a yeah. YouTube channel, but there's no harm in trying it because you never know what may happen with that. Or did you guys instinctively know the right moment to call it a day? Uh, I think we knew. It was a hard thing to come by, but I think we knew because it was, uh, you know, we had five, six, seven years of just great success.